Want to take a minute, just say what's up. Hope you were all staying safe out there. We kind of just cruising around, playing, uh, playing games, spending time with my daughter, uh, working out, doing what I can. So just living life, enjoy it. You only get one, you know what I'm saying? So appreciate all the support, all the likes, greatly appreciate it. If you want more of this game, quickly just keep it up. Actually, I wouldn't say quickly. If you want it daily, that's kind of what I've been doing right now. I'm not, I'm not like spamming 15 videos in an afternoon. It's just impossible right now. So uh, appreciate everything. Love you all. And let's get it. I uh, think we... That sounds lovely. I wouldn't mind talking to her. Look, yeah. She's had this icon above her head the entire time. They got exclamation points. They got something new. I'm assuming she does as well. They help bring let's talk to Zoe really quick. Aloy, you've returned. And you come bearing gifts. Does this mean we'll soon be able to uproot the Zeniths from our lands? That's what I'm hoping. Good. All right, uh, you're training. So we've already done a lot of these. So what What are we missing here? Companions, Zenith, the land gods. That has to be it, right? You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. That's pretty cool. So now we got that on there. I think I've talked to her about the other stuff, but I could be wrong. I should get going. If you need me, you know where to find me. I like her character a lot. All right. Um, yeah, the second verse. It basically, was trying to get the new side quest. I will talk to them, but I'm going to do that in a minute. It looks like we have some more stuff here, though. Hold on. Yeah, they put stuff in here randomly. All I'll see is pouch, pouch, pouch. <laughs> it's like everything's just being sent there. The last, like, several things weren't, though. All right, here we go. Let's go talk to Gaia. This should complete, if I had to guess, this is going to complete this main quest. And then, after that, I have no idea. I'm not even sure, like, what would be next. We've done a lot of stuff for this one, though. Here we go. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered to meet her. With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual ground. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. 
It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone. Will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Hova said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they used to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. What a see what hold on. I kind of forgot what this was, to be honest with you. Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Well, I got some skill points. Hold on. Let me go ahead and use these. I have six total. I've, I've been kind of saving them because a lot of the stuff I wanted to upgrade uh, cost more than just like one or two now. It's like stuff is all the way up to three. The overshield is what I was using. It's going to cost five. Oh, I don't want to do that, though. That's so much. Shield explodes and depleted, dealing shock damage. Now that is that's something new. I wish it showed like a before and after. You can't like scan between like what's level two versus level one. Like you can't go back and see it. But the fact that the shields explode, I think that's really cool. Um I kinda wanted this, but God, it costs three. What are these other ones? Low health range. Oh, yeah. These aren't even... God, now I'm torn. I don't know. I don't want anything else in this column, really. These, like, these types of things, I feel like I'm going to never use. Because I don't have a good blast sling right now. I would like to have one, but I just don't. <laughs> it's like I haven't got a better one than that one I've been using. Okay. Got two options here. We can increase this. Hold up to 14 medicinal berries. Uh, let's do this one. As much as I want the extra overshield. God, that would be nice though, right? You know what? I think this might be the best bang for the buck. Because we get the overshield pretty quick. Yeah, let's get this. I want to max one of these out. There we go. I got one point left. I'll just throw it into something that doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Trap limit. Resilient trapper. Take less damage when triggering your own trap or tripwire. God, that column is just not good to me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, do more damage when energizing a target. First strike an enemy with melee attack to build up energy. Yeah, let's get that. Only cost one, so. Okay. All right, survey drone module. We'll come back to that later on. I just wanted to see, because we can always come back here. Well, she has, hold on. She has extra dialogue, I think. Hey, Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. 
If there's anybody I want extra dialogue for, it's her. There we go. We got two new ones. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. I'm gonna ask each of the new exclamation points. How's Katalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can then. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have a workaround. Yeah, she filled me in. It sounds promising. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. Seems like Companions just keeps going. We're gonna keep going with it though. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. We're keeping it going. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you. As a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Is Katalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague to aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. All right, Fine Guy Companion's done. Here's what I was gonna say, right? 
I'm not going to do dialogue like this for everyone, but for Gaia, I feel like she's a very, very important character in the game. Granted, everybody in this section is. I just, I'm really curious about everything she's talking about. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. Uh, let's see. I think I've... Go back. I'm gonna go with these last two. I'm only going with the exclamation points. It's weird because this one right here, our progress has an exclamation point, but... I'm assuming it's because I haven't... These aren't grayed out, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna do all of them right now. Uh, this place. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there. One not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project. And it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Aether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. All right. I know it's going to keep going, but I really uh I feel like we're going to be here for I'll be forever. On my way. I'm just gonna kind of do it like this, a little dialogue at a time, you know? Because I was gonna do all of them, but man, I'm, I'm thinking it's like, if it's got an exclamation point, why don't I just do all of it, you know? 
But they put a lot of time into the dialogue in this game. I'm actually really impressed. Because I want to talk to everyone, but man, it's just like, every time I do that... I know we're, I, I, I'm pretty sure if I did all the dialogue right now, I would be here for at least four, 45 minutes if I did all the characters. That'd be like the entire video. So, all right. So we're at next. Level 26 mission. I'm level 29. So we're kind of getting near that point of my levels almost where these missions are. Pharaoh's tomb. Okay. So head over there. Let's get it started. I was going to take a break after that last mission, but I, I kind of just feel like continuing playing, you know? I've had a lot of fun with this game. I think I'm kind of made the decision. Hold on. I hear you're heading to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. So I was getting something to drink. All right, I'm good. All right, so we got a few things here. We got, uh, looks like, okay, that's still locked. I, I'm pretty sure I could figure this out if I really wanted to. New quest there. Falls Edge. So we're going to stop there along the way anyways. This is perfect. Nice little travel sesh here. Okay, see what it just did? See how the screen kind of flickered black and then it came back? I don't know what happens... When it does that, like, I have no idea. Can I... Oh, here we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game is doing. It, I've kind of noticed that a couple times, but I'm not even sure what is causing that. I think it's just the PS5 version of this game just has that. I don't know about PS4 version, though. All right, we got a long way to go. But I'm actually going to just kind of chill out, talk to you guys for a minute. Any campfires, I will... Do I have this on the map? I'm assuming if it's lit up like that, I already have it. Man, this game is just... It's really well done. This is one of those... I'll probably play for a while after I've finished it. Let me go up here and get this one. I, I want to say I have like. I definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I quick save tracks, really quick. I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Say so, yeah, most games that I, I've kept on my system have been uh, obviously the newer stuff. I, here's what I've been kind of doing with most of my consoles. Now, on PC, I kind of keep anything on there. Like old stuff, new stuff. But on PS5 and Xbox, I try to only keep games that are, like, new. Now, unless I'm playing... Like, I, ha I have Castlevania Sift of the Night on, like, everything I possibly can that I have it on. I uh, have it on Xbox. I actually have it on here, but I don't have it installed. My all-time favorite game. <laughs> so... Yeah, I've had just... Uh, the most fun with this game, this is one of those I'll probably keep on my system for a very long time. Really. Every time, I think spider Man's another one that I, here, let me just hop off. This is, the rocky terrains like Mass Effect planets all of a sudden. It's like I just can't scale anything. It reminds me of like certain games, oh, there's a tall neck in the background. I would, I would kind of like to, uh keep on my system forever, but, you know, granted, there's only, like, a limited number of, uh, I guess, gigabytes you have. It's just one of those things where you kind of just have to pick and choose. Some games take a lot, some games don't. I think I recently just got Gran Turismo 7, which, I don't know, I've, by the time you've seen this video, maybe I've covered it, maybe I haven't. Kind of undecided on that one right now. Yo, look at the tall neck, though. Just chilling. Alright, I'm gonna travel over here and see what's good. I would stop and kind of like see what this one's all about, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Thunderjaw sight. Should I... Wait, do I have this unlocked? Oh, I, I have... I could have... I just realized I could have just fast traveled here. It's whatever. We haven't really got a chance to run around like this in a while. This will be my stash when I need it. I'm not going to stop and get everything, but... I'll get a few things. 
Yeah, we're gonna stop at both of these. You you have an option to do one or the other, I think. Actually, no, I think you have to do both of them. I just killed something. I didn't even know it. It's hilarious. I ran into an Osaram caravan set up around a watering hole a little way south of our base. They're calling the place Camp Nowhere. Heard they had some trouble crossing into the west. Something about a, a collapsed tunnel. Does that sound good? Yeah. I thought that'd get your attention. Good luck out there. Alright, I might rest out front really quick and change the time of day. If I can at this, I don't know if you can actually. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. I think it's not a traditional campfire where you can actually change it. Yeah, I don't think you can change it there. It's just gonna be nighttime. It is what it is. Any of the ones, so those you can't. Uh, let me find the one where you, you could change it if you wanted to. It's a different type of symbol. It's not like a campfire symbol. It's like, uh, Maybe I'm just like losing my mind a little bit. I'm looking right now. Yeah, it'd be this number right here. The shelter. Shelters, you can actually change it. I just don't see many on here. You'll see one every every now and then, but not, not that often, you know? Somebody asked me if I had to pick right now what would be my game of the year. I mean, we're only in March, right? There's some games coming out this month that I'm going to be covering. But man, I, I don't know. One thing I will say is every game has had a little bit of issues here and there so far. Like, you have uh, starting off the year with like the Uncharted remake trilogy thing, whatever. It's like four and the Lost the Legacy, I think is what it was called. Um, and then oh, look at this area. Discovered a campfire. A little quick save. I'll put it on there. Yo. Normally I'd stop and talk, but if I talked to everyone in this game, I would never finish. It would be 90 parts long, and it would just be all dialogue. So I kind of have to just pick and choose. The main characters, I'll try to ask as much as I can. The side stuff like that, I'll kind of save that till after I finish the game. Since you can pretty much return everywhere, you know? I want to cut through here, I think. Yeah, we'll stop. Oh, here's a uh, shelter right here. We can change it. I prefer the daytime just simply because I don't know the videos just look look better you know it's just a better looking uh, video when I'm editing it doesn't take as long I don't know it's just weird it's hard to explain it I do like the morning time it's kind of an orange like color I think my favorite part of the day is uh, af afternoon and evening those look really nice but if you pick evening, you're coming up on night, so it's like, well, what do you do, you know? There we go. That 30 FPS to get back to the campfire, that's funny. Let me save it. I hope saving it doesn't increase the daytime. Uh, open stash. I mean, I have a lot of stuff. I'm not really worried about it. I'll probably get to, like, max level and then just kind of keep on... Uh, Keep on exploring the game after I finish it. I'll probably keep this game on my PS5. Uh, Gran Turismo 7 I've been looking forward to. I used to play that game with my dad. Not 7, but like the first two. Uh, a long time ago with my dad. So those games are always very special to me. Hold on. Yo, I will say this. As far as... Uh... Oh, yeah. I'm just going to run. As far as the, uh, I wouldn't say horseback riding, but like the mount riding in this game, comparably speaking to like Ghost of Tsushima, Assassin's Creed games, um, even Elden Ring, I just feel like the traveling around, you get stuck on a lot of stuff in this game. Well, here's Edge's, uh, not Edge's Fall, Fall's Edge. We'll go here and then, uh, see what's up collect all these even though I have over a thousand right now just pick them up you know four or five at a time if I can okay look at the over shelter you can activate it but we got looks like the purple bar on the bottom right even further now Wait, holding up. 
Thomas said I could resupply here and head for the Queen Fairy. Pair of damage mount and approach it. Okay. Uh, how do we get up there? It's got to be an entrance. I guess it's over here. Technically. Okay. That falls edge behind me. Just got to head west until I reach the coast. And the Queen Fairy. Careful now. Hey, here we go. Falls Edge. Got a little vendor. Hold on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, potions, resources. Yeah, nothing really major. I'm saving all materials until I know what's what in the end game. You know. So hold on, let me see. Maybe there's a bow being sold that I can. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. Uh, very rare. What would this, this is a okay? No, this is a hunter bow. I don't want to use this one. But we also have the trip caster, which I'm torn because. Hold on, what's the one I currently have? Next time, come willing to scream. The screen just did that thing again. Yeah, I'm torn because if I get this, it's going to replace the other one, and that's nice, but it's not... Yeah, let's just try it. Let's try it. Let's just go ahead and buy it. Not enough... Re Hold on. Not enough resources. Uh Oh, the cost is not just the amount. It's the Elemental Claw Strider Circulator. Okay. I have everything else, just not one of those. We will come back when we have enough. I didn't even look at that other side. Resources, everything else is good. We will be back for sure. So, what, we, what was the purpose of coming over here? Just to put it on the map, I guess? I think they were just talking about, hey, you can go there, you can probably... This is probably where they would want you to, like, upgrade and everything. If I, if I had to guess. I could be wrong. So, we're going to go, uh, go down through here. I'm assuming this is the right way. Which actually, I just realized I've been playing for an hour and 40 minutes. Maybe I will stop here for now. Kind of take a little break. And uh, when we come back next time, I'll probably wind up just, just gliding down. We got a whole lot of area we're going to go over here to do. Like, this is like a lot of ground. And it looks like we can start off with a really cool little spot in the next part. So, all right. Love you all. Best audience ever. I will catch you on the flip side. What I'll probably wind up doing is just, uh, I might even record later, like today, of more of this. I've had a lot of fun. Anytime I play other games and come back to this, this game just feels so fresh, you know? But yeah, when we come back next time, we're going to go down here. And it looks like we're just going to just traverse through this entire area. Kind of put it on the map. Uncharted waters. Anyways, all likes, greatly appreciated. Take it easy, guys. Peace.